Hey guys, in this episode of Skim Around Pool School, I want to talk a little bit about the importance of pool chlorine stabilizer. Stabilizer is known as three different terms. You got your chlorine stabilizer, or it could also be called cyanuric acid, or sometimes it's abbreviated CYA. All three terms mean the same thing. It's chlorine stabilizer. The reason why you want to have chlorine stabilizer in your pool is it protects the chlorine from being burnt out by the ultraviolet light of the sun. So you want to make sure you maintain around 30 to 50 parts per million of cyanuric acid or chlorine stabilizer. That'll protect your chlorine from being burnt out by the sun. Now on the other hand, you don't want to have too much chlorine stabilizer. When you start getting up to 80, 100 parts per million, what happens is your chlorine becomes less effective. So you could be adding chlorine to your pool and wondering why you're getting algae or you can't maintain a chlorine reading. That's one of the first things I would check is your cyanuric acid levels and make sure you're within range. Okay, so now that I've explained it a little bit, what I want to do is I'm going to go over to this particular pool we're at and we're going to show you how to add chlorine stabilizer if you need to add it. Uh, one more thing I want to mention, uh, when you're adding this stabilizer to the pool, you want to make sure that you do not put too much in at one time. So when you test your water and you go to your particular bottle of cyanuric acid and you read the chart on the back, try not to go overkill because if you put too much cyanuric acid in the pool, the only way you're going to be able to remove it is by draining the pool down some and refilling it. So you got to dilute the water. So go on the lower side of the chart, test it again in 12 to 24 hours, and then if you need to add a little bit more, that's, that's probably the best way to do it so you don't over-treat the pool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you how we install cyanuric acid into the pool. Okay, so we have pre-tested this pool for the chlorine stabilizer. And we've determined, based on the reading we've gotten and the chart on the back of the bottle here, that we need one pound of chlorine stabilizer to bring our stabilizer level up between 30 and 50 parts per million. So we need one pound. So this particular bottle comes with a cap that is one pound. So I'm going to pour one, a little less than one pound in this cap because, like I mentioned earlier, I'd rather put a little less in and retest it again 12 to 24 hours later and this way I could put a little bit more in if I need to, rather than have to drain the pool and refill it. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little shy of a pound, okay? And then the next step is I'm going to pour it in the skimmer. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to pour this chlorine stabilizer directly into my skimmer basket. You always want to make sure that your filter is running and you have good flow going through the skimmer. And all I'm going to do is just slowly pour this chemical into the skimmer basket. You can see it being drawn right down. I'm going to go a little slow. I don't want to clump it up in there and get it clogged in the holes of the basket. All right. So I'm going to let that circulate for a little while. And then what I'll do is... 12 to 24 hours later, I'll retest the chlorine stabilizer, and if I need to make an adjustment, it'll be a small one, and I'll do it at that time. So hopefully this video has helped you understand why you need to have cyanuric acid in your water, chlorine stabilizer, and the effects of it, and how to introduce it into the pool when needed. All right, so thank you for watching this episode of Skim Around Pool School, and we'll see you on the next one.